another edition of the Chieftain Prep Rally. I'm Jeff Latofsky along with Jeff Bursch of the Chieftain Sports Department. And uh, we're going to take you, take you down the road. There's a lot of different sports going on, sports wrapping up. And, and we're uh, a couple weeks away, really, from the, the winter season. But, Jeff, uh, obviously football is a, the, the thing we're talking about now. we got the end of the season coming up this week, and we have a real big game at Dutch Clark Stadium. Yeah, hard to believe it's uh, already the end of the regular season. And, yeah, there's one of the best games of the year this week, uh, tomorrow night to be exact. South is hosting Ponderosa. Uh, Ponderosa is number one in the state, um, nine and zero. Obviously, having a very good season. South, in itself, is having a very good year. They're eight and one. The only loss was the one point double overtime loss to, to Pueblo West in week three. Mm -hmm. And both teams are, are rolling into this. Ponderosa has won all nine, and South has won six in a row. So, I'm definitely looking for a shootout. A lot of a lot of, a lot at stake uh, come playoff time too. Yeah. Because uh, the, the really the team that wins this probably has a good chance to host a playoff game. The playoffs start next week for the for the the bigger schools. Yeah, South sitting on the edge. They're at number nine right now in the RPI, and a win will definitely move them up into the top eight and, and get a home playoff game. If they lose, I expect them to fall back a couple spots and and have to go on the road. So right. you know there is a lot of stake for for South in this one, and um, you know they're facing a Ponderosa team they're fairly familiar with. They played the last five years. They're two and three against them. They split the last four. Mm -hmm. Um, so they've they've had some success against Ponderosa, and I know you know just in talking to Ryan Goddard today, earlier today he felt pretty good about his team going into this one. So um, I'm definitely looking for a a great game, and maybe one of the best for that we've seen yeah. this season yeah, here in town. Good, it'll be a good one. We got talk about some of the other Pueblo schools. We still have two schools that are probably headed to the playoffs. So one one's already in, yeah. and then the one's about to get in, and um, you know and then we. Have the other teams are sort of wrapping up their year. Yeah, who would have thought Pueblo East would be our first team into the playoffs? Yeah, right? and they, they lost their first five games of the year and uh, won four in a row. And last week, you know, kind of uh, showed themselves pretty well up at Harrison, getting a, a 46 to 14 win to to earn their spot into the playoffs by winning the the South Central League. It was, uh, you know, that they're playing really well. And mm -hmm. um, I, I'm not sure, and you know, I wrote this in a column that'll appear tomorrow, but. I'm not sure there's any team in 3A that really wants to see them oh, come play on oh, time. Not, not the three-time defending <laughs> exactly. team camps, that's for sure. Whether they're, the, you know, they might be the 16 seed in the field, but um, you know they're playing well, and and they don't look anything like the team that, that lost those five games. So that should be an interesting uh, 3A playoffs. I, the way I look at it, it's pretty wide open. So right. I definitely think they have a shot. And you mentioned the other team, Pueblo West. Right. They'll get in. They're sitting pretty right now. They're at number four in the RPI. Uh, win this week against a pretty good wide field team should, right. should help them stay up there and that could mean two home games for Pueblo West and I know that'd be a, a pretty big deal to get those two and you know you get into the semifinals and, and anything can happen so uh, Pueblo West looking for their first straight state title in 10 years and um, you know they're sitting at 8-1 and one. their loan lost to Pine Creek in a, a fairly close game 21-14 right. so um, you know, I, I know they're pretty happy with where they're at and the chances that they have as well. Talk about we got the other schools wrapping up, and uh, really we have a you know uh, Pueblo County has a, has a coach who might might re reach a milestone. Yeah, Jeff Wilson, if if he can win this weekend against Sierra, and, and you know Sierra's one and eight, so you know Pueblo County's got a chance. Jeff Wilson will become the second winningest coach in in Pueblo history, which is a great accomplishment for him. I know he's had a couple stints there. At, at county, but um, you know that's something to to definitely look at this week as well. Right. We have, uh, and then you know, talk about some of our area schools. We do have uh, the the two A one A eight man playoffs all all starting this week, and we have 12, 12 area teams that are in that. And the six man uh, goes into the second round, which is the quarterfinals. And I just have to mention there was a game last last week in the six man between Otis. I, I, I can't even remember who Otis played, but Otis won 89 to 70 in a six-man game, and uh, boy, that must have been fun to do. And I'd, I'd like to see that uh, and getting up and down the field there. Yeah, for sure. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to try to be the scorekeeper in that game. But, but anyway, football. Football is uh, you know just about ready to start the playoffs, and we're excited for all that. But we we're also going to wrap up. There's a couple couple of uh, state uh, tournaments going on this weekend where we have. You know the, the volleyball is going into the regionals, mm -hmm. and we have two teams from Pueblo. We have Pueblo mm -hmm. West and Pueblo County. Pueblo West is going to be hosting, and they got they have two Western Slope teams coming here. And then of course Pueblo County's got to take the long drive to Durango, and they they're going to see if they can get to state. So uh, Pueblo West is 
probably has a good, really good opportunity to get to state. And I think I think they're probably one of the top four or five teams in the state. Don't you yeah, think? I, I would think so. They've had a pretty good season. I know they're coming off a, a tournament where they went two and two, but they went out and played a couple of five A teams. And that should prep them definitely for for four A postseason. And I know they're still adjusting to the loss of. Um, Malaya. Malaya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, that that's going to be a an interesting deal to see how they kind of come back from that and how they regroup. And I know they've had you know four or five matches to this point to do so. But right. Yeah. Um, it's, it's tough when you lose a, a one of the one of the key yeah, players on your one of your better on players. Your team. And we also have uh, gymnastics, the state gymnastics going on, and Pueblo Central is is uh, going to go up there. And they, you know, they've they've been a they've been a team that's re really been competitive in the state level. And I, I think uh, you know this is a team that really has an opportunity maybe to finish in the top three or four and uh, I don't know if they're going to win a state title but you know the, they've done it they've done a great job over there yeah the, they were second in the regional last week and, and still got to state as, as one of the next right. six teams so um, you know it postseason in any sports kind of crazy once you get there you just kind of go and see what you can do and you know that'd be great if they can get up there and get a top five finish in right state. And, and talking about you know how crazy it was with Pueblo Central getting you know, getting to the championship of the 4A in, in softball, yeah. and, and the the all uh, state teams came came out this week from Chassa, ChassaNow.com, and we had a we had a quite a few girls on on that team, including Taylor Puga of Central. She was on the first team, and Jade Garbiso of Pueblo West, which didn't make the field in the state, which was really sort of a disappointment. And she was on the second team, and we also had we had five other girls from the area that were on that team. So. Uh, pretty good representation of Pueblo, and uh, you know, as far as far as the, the softball is concerned, we're really looking forward to the end of this season, and uh, we're hoping that the winter season, uh, we're really looking forward to that as well. Yeah, because there's right around the corner. Yeah, it's basketball it's not far away. Swimming. Girls swimming, or not bo boys swimming. <laughs> For another edition of uh, Prep Rally, this is Jeff Lukowski along with Jeff Perkins.